Hey folks, so this is the TP-Link AXE5400 Wi-Fi adapter. And the great thing about this model, which I purchased by the way, so the video has not been sponsored, is that it supports Wi-Fi 6E. Now, if you don't know, Wi-Fi 6E is a fantastic bit of technology because it allows you to connect to Wi-Fi on a much less congested bandwidth, the six gigahertz bandwidth. And this means you will have to be using Windows 11 because Windows 10 does not actually support the six gigahertz bandwidth. Whether this is a limitation that Microsoft could correct, but don't want to because they want people to upgrade to Windows 11 is a discussion for another time. But regardless, you need Windows 11, you will need a high speed USB 3.0 port. And of course, perhaps most importantly, is that your network at home that you are going to be connecting to your actual Wi-Fi network needs to have a Wi-Fi 6E SSID to connect to. So there are two things in the box. We have the Wi-Fi adapter itself, and this is technically all you need. You can plug this straight into your computer and it should be plug and play, it should work immediately. One great thing about this and one reason why I like it is it does have the extendable antenna as well, which as you can see is quite a good size for a portable USB adapter. So this is going to be able to give you a stronger connection. But again, lifting the antenna up is optional. You can keep it down if you wish. And you can also use the included extension lead. Now, the great thing about this is it does have the dock here, so you can easily slot the adapter straight into that. Okay, you don't need to use this dock or this cable, but if you want to position this slightly away from your computer in a more appropriate position to get a stronger signal, then yeah, it's great to see that TP-Link have this included. So what I'm gonna do now is actually get my laptop here turned on. We'll get this plugged in and run an actual speed test, see what sort of speeds we can get through Wi-Fi 6E. Okay, so I've just done a speed test on the laptop's internal Wi-Fi adapter, which I believe is Wi-Fi 5. As you can see, I'm getting about 275 megabits per second download speeds. But I've got the new TP-Link Wi-Fi adapter plugged in here. So let's go ahead and start this test again. See if I can now get improved speeds. I have connected to the Wi-Fi 6E network, so hopefully this should straight away. Look at that. <laughs> 1 1.5, 1,500 megabits per second download. Goodness me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast, actually. So yeah, that's really impressive. And I wonder if the upload has improved as well. Yes, it has. No hesitation there. Straight over a gigabit per second speeds. That's pretty, pretty bonkers, I've got to say. Yeah, really, really happy with that. That's the difference that Wi-Fi 6E can make. Yeah, that, that is remarkable. Uh, you can probably get faster speeds than this. This is obviously based on my setup. Yeah, like I say, if you tweak things a little bit, you could probably get things running even faster than this, but some pretty good speeds there. So folks, as you might be able to tell, I was pretty shocked then with the results that I was able to achieve just by plugging in this TP-Link Wi-Fi 6E adapter. My Wi-Fi speeds went up what, five times from the Wi-Fi 5 speeds I was getting previously, so it's making a huge difference. And yeah, I'm looking forward to really putting it through its paces. So thanks for stopping by, checking out the video, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.